88, 89, this is making me horny, 91, 92, we're definitely taking this home, 93, 94. Darla, have you seen your father? No, no, what? Oh, you'll find out, it's a surprise. Carl, have you seen Larry? Larry's not here, man. Okay. Hey, Dharma. Hey, Carl. Hey. Greg, this is my dad's friend, Carl. Carl, this is my husband, Greg. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you is my father's name. You can call me Carl. <laughs> hey, can I get everybody's attention? Oh, uh, yeah, we have a little announcement here. Gather around, Dharma. Come here. Hey, can someone shut off the music? For the last 30 years, <clears throat> I've been lucky to have this beautiful lady lay across my big brass bed. And I've been blessed to spend my life gazing into these kaleidoscope eyes. Are they gonna start singing? Gosh, I hope so. So, to commemorate the anniversary of the day we first met... And the second time we slept together... A week from Tuesday, we're getting married! <laughs> Are you sure you two crazy kids aren't rushing into anything? That was my concern. <laughs> no, no, we've given this a lot of thought, so it's a week from Tuesday, 1 o'clock, San Francisco City Hall. And you can't just go get married at City Hall. You have to let me throw you a big wedding with all your friends. Right, guys? Yeah! yeah. Donna, are you sure you don't want to think about this? Throwing a wedding can be hard. What's so hard, Greg? It's just Abby and Larry. It'll be totally cash, right? Oh, totally. Although the food would have to be vegan. And some of the gang knows lacto ovo, and some are kosher. Mm -hmm. Kosher vegan. <laughs> and you know what might be nice? If all the guests were on horseback on the beach in the rain. Ooh, and Abby and I emerged from the ocean like citizens of Atlantis, wearing wedding clothes made of kelp. Oh. <laughs> See, Greg, totally cash. Hey, I can eat kelp, man. <laughs> These are kinky and elegant. But I think we need wedding favors that are more symbolic of Abby and Larry's spiritual and physical coming together. How about little personal vibrators? I don't think so. You give 100 people at a wedding vibrators and you're never going to hear the band. How about these? Now, th th these are always a big hit, you know. Oh, those are cute. Yeah. Hey, Abby, what about assorted marzipan genitals? Oh, Beth Adler gave those out at her parents' 50th. Hey, what was wrong with my idea? Larry, we've been through this. There's no way Lily can put a picture of you and Abby on a gross of condoms by next weekend. Shoot. Hey, look who's here. Oh, dear Lord. Kitty! What a surprise! Yes, well, uh, we weren't actually coming to this store. No, no, no. Edward, um, he needed change for the meter. Uh-oh. There's meters there? Yes. Could you hold this? Yes. Oh! oh. Kitty, guess what? Larry and I are getting married. And they're registered here. Hint, hint, these two go through sugar-free candy panties like there's no tomorrow. <laughs> hey, Lily, can my mother-in-law have just a little taste of some of your panties? Sure. Hey, this was Kitty's idea. She's gone cracker since the change. Don't be embarrassed, Ed. In a monogamous deal like yours, you need a couple of D batteries to keep things humming. No, oh, please. You've got the same raw monogamous deal I've got. No, sir. Abby and I have an open relationship. And starting next week, we're going to have an open marriage. You're getting married? Open married. I'll still be a free man. Oh, bull squirt. <laughs> oh, yeah? Hey, Abby? Do we have an open relationship? Yes, Larry. See? You've been with other women? Hey, that's not the point. The point is, out of millions of women that I could sleep with every day, I choose Abby. You couldn't get lucky if you were a chocolate-covered millionaire with a fistful of new shoes. Really? Really. Hey, watch a little unrepressed sexuality at work. Excuse me, I'm on a magical mystery tour. Would you like to hop on board? Call this number if you want a hot meal and a bed for the night. God bless you. Score. Let me 
many condoms have you done? I don't know, about a hundred. What do you think? That's my parents. On a condom. <laughs> Let's start filling that fertility pinata. Why couldn't we just get a regular donkey pinata? <laughs> beating a paper mache animal with sticks. But she's fine with whooping on the fat chick here. Hey. Hey, Larry, come on in. You remember Carl? I certainly do. <laughs> Is Greg around? I need to ask him something. No, he went for a walk in the park. Oh, cool. Where? The park. Hey, Dharma, I'm hungry. You got a kitchen or something? Try over there, Carl. Abby wanted me to tell you, she loves the wedding invitations. Oh, great, right. finally. Just one thing, where it says sunset on the beach, she wants it to be sunrise on the beach. We can't do that, Larry. Why? It's just changing one word. How hard is that? Because we're in California, and if you want the sun to rise on the beach, we have to go to New Jersey or get the earth to spin in a different direction. Either way, you're the boss. <laughs> is Greg around? Jake? I uh, hear he went to the park. Hey, that's where we're going. Come on. Hey, just a minute, man. Look, if you hold this condom upside down, man, it kind of looks like you and Abby. <laughs> yeah, I know. Whoa, look, there's another one. Hey, there's another one. Well, this is starting to freak me out, man. Come on, buddy. Well, look, now they're looking like puppies, man. Sandwich. Hi, guys. Hey, listen, I know you're not a lawyer anymore, but I was hoping you could help me out with a small legal problem. I don't know. What is it? I don't exist. Isn't that more of a self-esteem problem? No, man, he's off the grid. Listen, I never wanted the man to know where I was, so I don't have a driver's license, a social security number, or one of those library cards. That's how they find you. And they won't give you a marriage license without an ID. Tricky bastards. <laughs> well, uh, th th this is no problem. We'll just get a copy of your birth certificate. Uh, we need to know where you were born. Don't panic, man. Okay, we met in Fresno in 68. Where were you before that? <laughs> Darla, what are you doing? Oh, I'm going with Jane and Abby to scout some locations for the wedding. Now it's three in the morning. Well, we have to find some place that looks good at sunrise, otherwise we're flying everybody to Atlantic City. Consider turning the earth the other way? It came up. Is there any part of this that I can help you with? I'm not doing anything important these days. Well, not doing anything important? <laughs> Honey, you are undergoing an enormous personal transformation. Yeah, but that still leaves my days pretty much free. <laughs> You need this time for yourself. Yeah, but I... There's... No, yeah, but, honey, you had the courage to quit being a lawyer and find out who you really are. That's huge. You should be very proud of yourself. I know I am. Thank you. You're welcome. Don't worry about my parents' wedding. I'm on top of it. Good luck. Thank you. Bye. pick up some doves Abby doesn't want make sure he gives you a receipt got it here Bertie there you go one official birth certificate for Myron Lawrence Finkelstein wow that was fast thanks would have been faster if I'd known Larry was your middle name Myron's not something you brag about Myron see Yo, Greg, listen, I got a legal problem myself. Well, I, I'm not really practicing law, Carl. See, I wrote this hit song a couple years ago, and I'm pretty sure I'm due some royalties, man. Really? What song? That's what I need you to find out. Oh. Here it comes! Look out for me! Well, what do you think, Abby? I don't know. It looks a little claustrophobic down there. 
It's a canyon, Abby. You asked for a canyon! Canyon? Now let's find one that's not quite so closed in. Jane, we're coming back up! Isn't it beautiful? Yep. Okay, good. So, Jane will uh, push the tape player on, and then you and Larry will walk down the Wait aisle. Wait a minute, Dharma. You're just going to play a tape? Isn't that a little tacky? Abby, we auditioned a dozen different singers. You didn't like any of them. Well, because nobody sings it like Kenny Loggins. <laughs> okay. Well, why don't we get a different song, then? No, but Dharma, that's our song. Okay, but if I can't play it on the tape player and you don't want anyone else to sing it, what exactly am I supposed to do, Abby? You'll think of something, sweetie. You're very good at this. Wonderful. Thank you so much. You, you want Pooh Corner or something? No. We're just so honored that you're willing to do this. Yes, we certainly are. Uh, <sighs> Dharma, I don't know. <laughs> what do you mean, I don't know, Abby? This is Kenny Loggins. <laughs> This is the guy who wrote the song. This is the guy who could have had me arrested when his dogs pinned me in his backyard. This is the guy, for reasons I still don't understand, is sitting in my living room while we argue about whether or not he's going to sing at your wedding? I'm sorry, you want me to leave no, no, the room? It's okay. Just give us one second. Uh, Dharma, it's supposed to be my day, and... No offense, Kenny, but it, when I walk down the aisle, everybody's gonna be looking at you. She's right, you know, that's why you gotta stop playing weddings when you get famous. So it's kind of two against one, Dharma. Maybe you should just wait out in the hall for just one second. Abby? I got this from my landlord. Me and my monkeys are being evicted for no good reason. Uh-huh. Here you go. California Code of Civil Procedure. Thanks. Don't you hate phonies? What a turnoff, huh? <laughs> Listen, Pete, you have to, uh, you have to promise me that you won't tell Dharma what I'm doing. Well, I understand. I mean, the last thing a wife wants to hear is that her bum husband got his ass off the couch and is practicing law. <laughs> She, she thinks I'm on this voyage of self-discovery. See, all of my monkeys are potty trained. That's good. And two of them can read your thoughts. Hey, Greg, I've been thinking about my buddy's case here, man. Doesn't the landlord's failure to exercise the no-pet clause in a timely fashion constitute a de facto waiver of the provision? It probably does. How did you know that? <laughs> I went to law school, man. <laughs> Hey, Myron, dig me. I'm a lawyer, man. Okay, good. Now, at this point, the bridesmaids will come down the aisle, throwing the rose petals from within their bosoms, oh. signifying the nourishing bounty of Mother Earth. Dama, I don't feel comfortable with that. All right, Kitty, listen. Yeah. My mother feels very strongly that your participation in this will help heal the divisions in our family and strengthen our spiritual wadu-da. <laughs> Would it kill you to yank some tulips out of your tatas? <laughs> This blossom will open, and then music, music, music. I cannot believe you, Larry Finkelstein! What? What did I do? And then, the single women will beat the fertility pinata with sticks, whack, 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 showering the guests with condoms. You're making a mockery out of this whole ceremony! You shouldn't have said it if you didn't mean it. I'm oh, sorry, where was I? The guests were diving for rubbers. Right. Okay, then we will... Uh, Dharma. Dharma. Maybe we should call off the rehearsal. Your mother's pretty upset. Why? I don't know. Must be jitters. Because she's making a big deal because I brought a date. You brought a date to your wedding rehearsal? Uh-huh. Told you we had an open relationship. Hey, Ginger. Hi, sweetie. Um, I'm on the clock. Are you going to want another hour? 
Larry, I'm sorry I overreacted. You're right. We do have an open relationship. Everybody, this is my date, Carl. He's a lawyer. <laughs> it's my best friend. I love you too, buddy. Can I see the two of you over here for just one second? Sorry, I'm late. What'd I miss? I'll tell you what you missed. <laughs> you missed two people so afraid of commitment that they're deliberately sabotaging their own wedding. The flowers are too dead, the food's too alive, the earth spins in the wrong direction, and now they're bringing dates? Okay, I'm caught up. <laughs> All my life, you guys told me that your way was better because every day you chose to be together. Would you ever stop to think that there was somebody in that house who woke up every morning wondering if this was the day her parents were going to choose not to be together? Oh, darn. No, I don't want to hear it, Abby. Get married, don't get married. I don't care. You're on your own. Well, this party's pretty dead. <laughs> hey, who wants to go downtown and meet some mind-reading monkeys? <laughs> what do you think, Kitty? <laughs> Uh, even if you are blind in one eye, you, you, you can't call them CNI monkeys. Hey. Oh, hi. Um, uh, uh, the, the hot dog stand is, is right over there. What? Uh, you wanted a hot dog, remember? All right, counselor. You got it, camper. <laughs> ah, street person. Yeah, yesterday, he called me princess. <laughs> so how you doing? I feel like a jerk burger. Well, honey, you had a right to be upset. Where do I come off being upset? I had the best childhood of anyone I know. Yeah, but that doesn't mean that it wasn't hard for you, not knowing whether your parents were going to stay together. No, but they did, and I turned out fine. At least I thought I did till I started throwing tantrums like a ten-foot baby. You didn't throw a tantrum. You did throw an organic wedding cake off the Golden Gate Bridge. <laughs> you know, if Abby and Larry change their minds and don't want to be married, I should be fine with that. I mean, look at you. You were a lawyer, and you quit, and here you are being a lawyer again, and I'm totally fine with that. You know I'm practicing law? Yeah. I mean, I guess I just have a hard time letting go of my childhood fears. Like, I know lawn flamingos can't turn kids into garden gnomes, but I still won't look one in the eye. Right. How did you know I was practicing law? Honey, the people who were keeping your secret were Pete, Larry, and Carl. I, 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 was, I was going to tell you. I know you were. You were just working up to it. So you're not disappointed in me? Do you feel this is your true path? Yeah, I do. That's great. Yeah, but it was the path I was on. But it doesn't matter. Now you know it's your true path. And you did it pretty quick. You didn't, you know, spend months doing open mic night trying to be a stand-up comic. <laughs> That's true. I'm a lawyer. Yeah. I'm supposed to be a lawyer. Do we come back here? We're going to sue that landlord, and if we lose, we'll appeal. And if we have to, we're going to take it all the way to the United States Supreme Court to protect this man's God-given right to live in an efficiency with ten monkeys. <laughs> so proud of you. Thank you. Hey, when are you going to tell your parents that you're practicing law again? I don't know. Maybe when I uh, uh, get some clients that won't throw their own feces when they lose. <laughs> they do that sometimes when they win. <laughs> Love a girl who holds the world in a big cup Come on, drink it up Love her and she'll bring you luck If you find she helps your mind, brother, take her home One time. <laughs> Try to earn the love zone Even though we ain't got money I'm so in love Honey, look at the bride, look at the bride. <laughs> Everything will bring a change in the world. Hear the morning when I rise. Bring a tear of joy to my eyes and tell me everything is going to be all right. <laughs> Welcome, everyone. What a long, strange trip it's been. <laughs> But here we are celebrating a relationship that has lasted for 30 wonderful years. A relationship that has grown stronger because Abby and Larry always followed their true paths. No matter what the world said or thought of them.
And so we gather here today to join these two souls, Abigail Kathleen O'Neill and Myron Lawrence Finkelstein. Myron. <laughs> In an unofficial, non-marital, but henceforth monogamous commitment ceremony with no paper trail attracting the attention of the man. <laughs> Out of all the women in the world, many of whom I could have easily been with. <laughs> I choose to commit my life to you. And why? Because, Abby, A, is for your loving attitude with which you greet me each morning. B, because I love you. C, is for the comfort knowing you were at my side. D, is for my desire, which never fades. E, is for every day she's by my side. F, is for friendship. this from my landlord. Me and my monkeys are being evicted for no good reason. Uh-huh. Here you go. California Code of Civil Procedure. Thanks. Don't you hate phonies? What a turnoff, huh? <laughs> Listen, Pete, you have to, uh, you have to promise me that you won't tell Dharma what I'm doing. Well, I understand. I mean, the last thing a wife wants to hear is that her bum husband got his ass off the couch and is practicing law. <laughs> She, she thinks I'm on this voyage of self-discovery. Say, all of my monkeys are potty trained. That's good. And two of them can read your thoughts. <laughs> hey, Greg, I've been thinking about my buddy's case here, man. Doesn't the landlord's failure to exercise the no-pet clause in a timely fashion constitute a de facto waiver of the provision? It probably does. How did you know that? <laughs> I went to law school, man. <laughs> Hey, Myron, dig me. I'm a lawyer, man. Okay, good. Now, at this point, the bridesmaids will come down the aisle, throwing the rose petals from within their bosoms, oh. signifying the nourishing bounty of Mother Earth. Dama, I don't feel comfortable with that. All right, Kitty, listen. Yeah. Uh, Mother feels very strongly that your participation in this will help heal the divisions in our family and strengthen our spiritual wadu-da. <laughs> Would it kill you to yank some tulips out of your... <laughs> No, oh, you need this time for yourself. Yeah, but I... There's... No, yeah, but, honey, you had the courage to quit being a lawyer and find out who you really are. That's huge. You should be very proud of yourself. I know I am. Thank you. You're welcome. Don't worry about my parents' wedding. I'm on top of it. Good luck. Thank you. Bye. Pick up some doves Abby doesn't want. Make sure he gives you a receipt. Got it. Here, Bertie. There you go. One official birth certificate for Myron Lawrence Finkelstein. Wow. That was fast. Thanks. Would have been faster if I'd known Larry was your middle name. <laughs> Myron's not something you brag about. Myron. <laughs> See? Yo, Greg, listen, I got a legal problem myself. Well, I, I'm not really practicing law, Carl. See, I wrote this hit song a couple <laughs> years ago, and I'm pretty sure I'm due some royalties, man. Really? What song? That's what I need you to find out. Oh. Here it comes! Look out below! <gasps> Woo. Oh. Well, what do you think, Abby? I don't know. Blair, and you don't want anyone else to sing it. What exactly am I supposed to do, Abby? You'll think of something, sweetie. You're very good at this.
wonderful. Thank you so much. You, you want Pooh Corner or something? No. We're just so honored that you're willing to do this. Yes, we certainly are. <sighs> Dharma, I don't know. <laughs> What do you mean? I don't know, Abby. This is Kenny Loggins. This is the guy who wrote the song. This is the guy who could have had me arrested when his dogs pinned me in his backyard. This is the guy, for reasons I still don't understand, is sitting in my living room while we argue about whether or not he's going to sing at your wedding? I'm sorry, you want me to leave no, no, the room? No. It's okay. Just give us one second. Uh, Dharma, it's supposed to be my day, and... No offense, Kenny, but it, when I walk down the aisle, everybody's going to be looking at you. She's right, you know, that's why you got to stop playing weddings when you get famous. So it's kind of two against one, Dharma. Hey, Greg, I've been thinking about my buddy's case here, man. Doesn't the landlord's failure to exercise the no-pet clause in a timely fashion constitute a de facto waiver of the provision? It probably does. How did you know that? I went to law school, man. <laughs> hey, Myron, dig me. I'm a lawyer, man. Okay, good. Now, at this point, the bridesmaids will come down the aisle, throwing the rose petals from within their bosoms, oh. signifying the nourishing bounty of Mother Earth. Dama, I don't feel comfortable with that. All right, Kitty, listen. Yeah. My mother feels very strongly that your participation in this will help heal the divisions in our family and strengthen our spiritual wadu-da. <laughs> Would it kill you? to yank some tulips out of your tatas. <laughs> now, the giant lotus blossom will open, and then music, music, music. I cannot believe you, Larry Finkelstein! What? What did I do? And then, the single women will beat the fertility pinata with sticks, whack, 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 showering the guests with condoms. You're making a mockery out of this whole ceremony! Well, you shouldn't have said it if you didn't mean it. I'm oh, sorry, where was I? The guests were diving for rubbers. Right. Okay, then we will... Uh, Dama. Dama. Maybe we should call off the rehearsal. Your mother's pretty upset. Why? I don't know. Must be jitters. Because she's making a big... Probably does. How did you know that? <laughs> I went to law school, man. <laughs> hey, Myron, dig me. I'm a lawyer, man. At this point, the bridesmaids will come down the aisle, throwing the rose petals from within their bosoms, oh. signifying the nourishing bounty of Mother Earth. Dama, I don't feel comfortable with that. All right, Kitty, listen. Yeah. My mother feels very strongly that your participation in this will help heal the divisions in our family and strengthen our spiritual wadu-da. <laughs> Would it kill you to yank some tulips out of your tatas? <laughs> The giant lotus blossom will open, and then music, music, music. I cannot believe you, Larry Finkelstein! What? What did I do? And then, the single women will beat the fertility pinata with sticks, whack, 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 showering the guests with condoms. You're making a mockery out of this whole ceremony! You shouldn't have said it if you didn't mean it. I'm oh, sorry, where was I? The guests were diving for rubbers. Right. <laughs> okay, then we will... Uh, Mama. Dama, maybe we should call off the rehearsal. Your mother's pretty upset. Why? I don't know. Must be jitters, because she's making a big deal because I brought a date. You brought a date to your wedding rehearsal? Uh-huh. Told you we had an open relationship. Hey, Ginger. Hi, sweetie. Um, I'm on the clock. Are you going to... Greg Sandwich! <laughs> Hi, guys. Hey, listen, I know you're not a lawyer anymore, but I was hoping you could help me out with a small legal problem. I don't know. What is it? I don't exist. <laughs> Isn't that more of a self-esteem problem? <laughs> no, man, he's off the grid. Listen, I never wanted the man to know where I was, so I don't have a driver's license, a social security number, or one of those library cards. <laughs> That's how they find you. <laughs> And they won't give you a marriage license without an ID. Tricky bastards. <laughs> well, uh, th th this is no problem. We'll just get a copy of your birth certificate. Uh, we need to know where you were born. Don't panic, man. Okay, we met in Fresno in 68. Where were you before that? <laughs> Dara, what are you doing?
are you doing? Oh, I'm going with Jane and Abby to scout some locations for the wedding. Now? It's three in the morning. Well, we have to find some place that looks good at sunrise, otherwise we're flying everybody to Atlantic City. You consider turning the earth the other way? It came up. Is there any part of this that I can help you with? I'm not doing anything important these days. What? Not doing anything important? <laughs> Honey, you are undergoing an enormous personal transformation. Yeah, but that still leaves my days pretty much free. 